I want the rules to treat us like parents, like abandu, ne? Abapilayo. Like abandu abanezdingu. It's been 10 years, um, um, I can't afford to, 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 to extend this house without a loan. Rhodes is one of the worst paying universities in the country even though it is one of the best universities in terms of its outputs. And the reason why you want a reasonable salary increase is because people's lives matter. I'm getting paid 6.1 monthly me. 6.1, what is that? What is that, you see? Early January we met, the following day we arrived and the financial contingent of the management team did not arrive and we were told that they had been instructed by the executive director not to attend the, the, the negotiation talks. The reason why the, the financial people did not attend was they said that due diligence had not been done. Um, I think that's technical speak for what I'd say doing your job. We could forecast the storm. Okay. In addition, in 2014, the director of HR uh, put a talk together warning that the, there were too many staff and it was an unsustainable cost. Okay. Now, you've got to ask yourself, what has management done since then to make a plan to deal with it? The university has been under financial pressure for quite a long time. You know, it's a small university. You either have to really take a very strong leadership role and say, where are we going to be in 15 years? or you just start cutting costs. And, we, and you cut costs where it's easiest to cut costs. And the point is that none of the cut, cost cutting they do is actually going to be a sufficient solution in my, in my view, right? If you look at the maintenance backlog and the gap that's emerging between our income and our expenditure. And so cut, cost cutting is just, driving, is just digging a hole deeper. And you're kind of wondering what the strategy is. Yeah. Um, the following month we met with university management, both unions again, and started the negotiation process. University management started out with a 4% offer. Uh, the university eventually moved up 1% to 5%, but this was still way below inflation and the unions felt it was a wage cut. One wants an inflation adjusted uh, salary increment just to be able to stay, stay even. Um, so food inflation in the beginning of the year was about 11%. Uh, you see, when you give people four percent or five percent, it really that's the insult. It's nothing. I, I, what I can do because really, I have a mama. I'm from Pet. I have my brothers. You see, then I'm not. Now I can go to five. I can go policies. If you look at the dependency ratio uh, from Stats South Africa, you'll see it's forty-four to one, which means that each working person in this town supports 44 non-working people and those would be children, pensioners, people who aren't working, people who've given up trying to find jobs etc. And so for those reasons it's really important to get a fair remuneration. brother, the mother passed away. This lady was four years when mother passed away. So my brother's child and then I have to take him with another boy you see was here. And even now, she didn't call me auntie, she called me mama. And I have to be that mother. Uh, we're also not rewarding people who are, who are going the extra mile. And in some cases, you get people who sit in one grade for 10, 20 years, um, which, which is, I don't think, acceptable. I want to put it clear. The failure is not us. I was, we are working because we want something tomorrow to be a people that can can improve your family as well, your children that must get a better education. My boy was climbing there, putting a carpet on the roof. Ne? The asbestos just broke, my boy was inside this. At that point the negotiations deadlocked and we took the university to the CCMA. Given that there was no reasonable outcome from the CCMA, they issued us with an industrial action certificate. In the following week we're going to hand over a memorandum. And for the memorandum, we told our, our members that if they wanted to, they could 
they could take the day off as, as a strike day. <laughs> Um, there is no plan on how to re uh, build, uh, fix our infrastructure and to repay that debt. Um, as far as I know, there is no plan to make the staff more competitive. Okay? There is no plan to reduce student uh, tuition. Right? In fact, there, so there is no plan to get us out of this hole we're in. So management's talking about crisis all the time. They've been talking about it for two, three years now. But when you ask them, what are you doing? Then you get the VC circular that says, well, we're going to cut Christmas parties at the end of the year. If they can't make a plan, they must resign. Because if this place implodes, the effects on Grahamstown and Eastern Cape will be catastrophic. I want to buy a house for her before I do anything for myself. Make her comfortable with, together with my father. When they are safely secured, then I can look for something for myself. Six point nine is not enough. Yeah. We are not happy, but Omundu Maya Solegil Upumlil, but Upumlil, yeah.